Hey guys, I'm here with a really helpful video. I've heard many of you have flats on your scooter, so today I will show you how to replace inner tubes and your tires. This is really simple, it should take around 20 minutes to fix it. And also at the end of this video I will show you how to use slime so you can easily prevent flats. Let's jump into it. So here we have all the tools you'll need. We have a regular bike pump, axle nut wrench, slime, allen keys, tubes and tires. Here is my NAND robot D6 Plus. First you'll have to lift your scooter a little bit. I use this box. Second, let the air out. Remove the caps. So, as you can see, my tire is completely flat now. So, you don't have to touch the brake pads or calipers, anything. Just remove the wheel here. As you can see, there are two hex screws that hold the wire. You should remove those as well. By removing those two hex screws you have created more space to work on your wheel. The next step will be to remove those six hex screws from the rim. You'll need a 4mm allen key. Here's what we have now. Uh, I have removed the rim and I have removed the tire from the second part of the wheel. And here is the motor. This is my old tire from the front wheel. I've had them for 500 miles, zero flats, no problems at all. So I think slime is a really good product and you should definitely use that. Uh, this is the new off-road thread and uh, today I will be installing this road tire because some people say that they make your scooters a little bit faster and also they create less noise if you compare them to the off-road ones. So this will be a, a new thing for me. Let's see how it goes. It's time to check it before you put it on. Check the side wall for sharp objects. Make sure it's nice and smooth. This one is perfect. Before the final installation, make sure to put a little bit of air into the inner tube. I find it easier to install a new tire this way. Make sure to align your rim properly so the holes for the hex screws match the second part of the rim.
So I have all six hex screws here. I'm gonna make them tight now. Now it's time to inject some slime into your inner tube. This cap works as a valve removal tool. Remove this one. Don't lose it. So here is the bottle of slime. You get this straw with your bottle. Do this and uh, According to the slime chart, you will need two ounces of slime for a 10 inch tire. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So this means you will need one quarter of the bottle. Squeeze the bottle. The slime is going inside. Well, I have probably put just a little bit more. So yeah, uh, that's it. I have around quarter of the bottle inside of my tire now. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. So what you're gonna do now is remove the straw. And put this thing back inside. Make it tight again. Securely in. to close it. Now I'm putting back this wire holder. So put your wheel back. After injecting slime you gotta ride your scooter for a couple of minutes or just spin the wheels to make sure the slime distributes evenly within the tube. That's it, thanks for watching this tutorial, hopefully that was helpful and I really hope you will not get any flat tires in the future. And like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for my next videos and take care, bye!